You're listening to It's the Beat on the Mighty 1290 Coil. Once again, here are your hosts, Karen Sokoloff Javich and Jody Vinci. Jody and I are very happy today to have Kevin Lawler with us on the phone. Kevin is a poet, playwright, director, designer, and actor. He is the producing artistic director of the Great Plains Theater Conference and a co-founder of the award-winning Blue Barn Theater in Omaha, Nebraska. Well, welcome, Kevin. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. I did it right this time. Hey, it's exhausting. <laughs> Kevin, you know that your your background, a poet, a playwright, a director, a designer, and an actor, how do you have time to have a life? Um, well, that, you know, all of those things comprise a life, I guess, if you add them all up. That's quite a life. <laughs> and yeah. uh, right, boy, right now you are uh, you are directing the this dark comedy at the Blue Barn Theater, is that correct? That's right. And That's what's right. the name of it? Because we can't pronounce it, so you tell us the name, Kevin. It's a behanding in Spokane. Okay. And what, it's, t- yeah, it, tell us a little bit about it. It sounds so interesting. Yeah, well, it's I mean, it's a uh, it's a dark comedy that mm-hmm. has a lot of incredible surprises in it. It's written by an Irish playwright named Mar- Martin McDonough, mm-hmm. and he's also done some films that. Some of the listening audience might remember um, Seven Psychopaths was one of his <laughs> latest films. And, um, well, Jody, did you see that? Um, I was one of the seven. Okay, you were one of the psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> I was the sixth one from the left. I don't know if you guys remember me in that, but that was me. You were great, Jody. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you were. And it was all because of Kevin's that. direction that because I was so Kevin, good. Kevin, that's yeah. right. That's right. No, but I have heard, uh, I truly, I have heard of Martin McDonough, so um, I'm interested. Be- you know, he, he's fascinating. He's, he's like, um, uh, you know, the filmmaker Quentin Tarantino? Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's like an Irish Quentin Tarantino. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. So everything's kind of really, dark. He's a really brilliant, brilliant mm-hmm. writer, yeah. mm-hmm. but with a, a very dark comedic sensibility. So if for pe- people that are going to this play, oh, I'm sorry. All of that. So so people, uh, Kevin, that are uh, going to the play should be prepared to see kind of this dark comedy. It's like you say, it's kind of a Quentin Tarantino ish. It's not a pulp mm-hmm. fiction, right? But it, it's about a mm-hmm. backwoods American sociopath. Is that right? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Carmichael. Yeah. Well, it, it's um, real. It'll cheer us up, Jody. It's. <laughs> I you'll, love it. You'll leave. You'll leave the theater laughing. That's perfect. Um, you know that's true. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay. So who, the, who's yeah. in it, Kevin? Well, there's there's a, a wonderful cast of, mm-hmm. of local actors and a, an incredible crew of designers that have worked with the Blue Barn forever, and um, the the whole team together put together comprises some of the top talent I think in town and, and uh, wow. um, I, you know you you won't see a better better production quality and it's it's really great actually to if you've ever been down to the Blue Barn stage it's different than a lot of other stages in town because it's it's intimate it's a mm-hmm. 99 seat theater mm-hmm. so you're right there kind of in the action it's it's the great yeah, that's tradition great. of all mm-hmm. Yeah, I like love the, the Blue Barn Theater. Like the off-Broadway of New York City, you know. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. What's the location of the Blue Barn? The Blue Barn is at South uh, 614 South 11th Street. It's okay. just south of the upstream brew pub. In That's Hill right. Market. Yeah, I and, love that theater. That's great. Yeah, and, you know, a lot of people come down and have dinner in the market and then go see a show or see the show and go out for after after for a drink and... Yeah, and, uh, but it w- when you go into this this smaller intimate theater and see the production quality, like the the incredible details of the set and the sound design and the lighting, and mm-hmm. it's just kind of an extraordinary experience. Wow, and, you know, and we also see Kevin that your plays have been produced across the country. So do mm-hmm. you do you write plays that have this dark comedy or or uh... What do you like to write? Well, I kind of 
move from a, a little bit more of a visual. When I was a, a kid, I started out as a painter, and I loved the visual arts. And so I, I was an oil painter for many years before I got going wow. into theater. And um, so I tend to write from a visual perspective. Uh, rather than thinking out a story like, what's a great story plot-wise, I'll wake up from a dream that I've had with just an image that kind of haunts me that I can't let go of. And then I'll write an entire story based off that dream image or what what's happened a little mm-hmm. bit like Strindberg has historically or some of those playwrights um, mm-hmm. that work with a little more surrealistic uh, material. So that's kind of where I, I work from. And either that or sometimes I'll take a classic play like a Eugene O'Neill play and rework it and try to explore it from a different sensibility a little bit. That Wait, now that's brilliant, brilliance, Jody, don't mm-hmm. you think? No, that is that, brilliance. That that really is. That's incredible that you do that. And Kevin, tell me, tell me along with our listeners, what is your tie to Omaha? Is it the Blue Barn Theater or you know, what brings you here to do these plays? You know, it's the Blue the Blue Barn and and I've been a uh, you know, I we started the Blue Barn in 1988. You're a founder, and, that's right. Um, I was here for the first 13 years mm-hmm. of running that, and then I sojourned at, back out into the country and did a little stint in Seattle and New York City and Minneapolis. And then I came back here four years ago to run the Great Plains Theater Conference. And so I've been here actually full-time for the last four years. Wow. Um, doing, That's in May. Is that in May of every year, the, the Great Plains yeah. Theater? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the end of May. But uh, the the real tie, um, when I, I came to Omaha in 1988 just for a weekend to visit my sister and ended up getting into a conversation with some of the folks who are running the Bemis Art Center over that weekend, and they offered me in the span of a 15-minute conversation, a free space to start a theater in in Omaha if I would move here to do it. Oh, my gosh. And so I called some of my friends back in New York City, where I was living at the time, and said, "We've I've been offered a free warehouse space to start a theater, and probably a lot of things that we would like to do out here might be new for this community. And... Uh, so Houston Walkinshaw and Nils Holland came out. Mm-hmm. We began the, the Blue Barn, and Mary Teresa Green joined us. And so that's how it started. And the community response has been, for the, the last 24 years, has been what's kept me here. This, this community and what's happened with the arts here has been the reason why I call this my hometown. Well, Kevin, what a wonderful thing to say, and and you are quoted Mm -hmm. as saying that nobody's doing theater here for money, for fame, or anything like that. You said everybody's doing it because they actually love doing it, and they love the other people involved with it, which is the essence of any good theater. I think that's an incredible Mm -hmm. quote and very, you know, has a lot of impact, and it's terrific that you had this opportunity, because for those of you that are not familiar with the Blue Barn Theater, it is... uh, it's an intimate theater, and like you said, it, it reminds you of you know an off-Broadway setting or even um, uh, when I was at a play in London, England. Same kind of feeling. Yes, um, it is. And it is. It's, it's very uh, intimate. It's yeah. intimate. It's charming. And how terrific and fun to see Martin McDonough's A Behanding in Spokane. Again, Kevin, uh, the play is going to be on stage um, through March 16th at the Blue Barn Theater, 614 South 11th Street. And just a quick... Um, snippet the the play is actually uh, and correct me if i'm wrong kevin but it's about uh, a sociopath who's been hunting for his severed left hand for 27 years is that right so he encounters these dimwits toby and is it marilyn in this Mm -hmm. in this comedy so it's it's it'll be fun to to see their relationship and and how it's exposed and um the details of their uh graphic uh hunt for this poor man's hand (laughs) (laughs) yes I think it's yeah, terrific. Yeah, you will you will have an 
a really great roller coaster ride of an evening at the theater. Well, it's wonderful. A lot of fun. Well, Karen and I will definitely be uh, yes. occupying two of those seats. Uh-huh. Um, hopefully Thank you, Kevin, if for it you know, out. bringing your, your wonderful brilliance to Omaha for all these years. Boy, uh, for- it's, it's been a great home, a great home as a person and as an artistic home. It's been mm-hmm. so great for me. So Well, that is great. And and again, for our listeners, for tickets or more information, you can call the Blue Barn Theater, 402-345-1576. And again, Kevin, thanks so much for sharing your afternoon with us. We really appreciate it, and we wish you nothing but the best in the theater. Yes, thank you, Kevin. Thank you both, too. We'll be right back with Becky Jelinek.